In this video, I'm going to go over a virus removal tool called the Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool for Linux users. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a description how to install it, how to use it, and how to remove the program. Let's take a look at what this program is. The Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool is a portable app, and that's important right there. It's portable. It's not going to actually install it and embed files within your system. You run the app, and it does use some temporary files, and then when you finish, it's no longer installed on your system unless you quarantine things and at the very end I'll show you folders if you decide to remove it so you can remove those folders that quarantines things but it's a portable app designed to scan and disinfect an infected computer from the viruses and other malicious programs and if you look here on the actual tool it says the Kaspersky virus removal tool does not provide real-time protection so it's not going to run in the background using up your system resources it will allow you if you think you have a, a system that's infected it will allow you to run it and scan the entire computer scan a particular folder or just scan what's in memory and what's booted up so that you know that you're not going to cause any harm on your system when you start up your system. Now, in the United States, they blocked it out because Kasky Virus Removal Tool is from Russia. Now, in the past, I have used Kasky, Kaspersky uh, tools on my Windows system many years ago. I didn't have any problems with them, and I didn't switch because of... Uh, of where it came from I just switched because I eventually switched to the Avast and then I used the window, Windows free that was on the system so if you click this link right here and you're in the United States it's going to show up saying downloads unavailable it said downloads are unavailable for US customers for non US customers Kaspersky solutions are available at here so I'm going to simply just copy this link what I'm going to do here is copy the link and I'm going to go in my Brave browser where I have my VPN on here so this right here is the touch VPN and if uh, you want to install this on your system if you don't like to use free VPNs you can install it to get the program and then remove it so I'm gonna put this link here and I'm gonna paste it and it should come up yeah, here it is it says download Kaspersky virus removal tool you can click the download button and notice it's going to identify your system in this case I'm using Linux so when I download this it's going to actually download a kvrt run file now to make this run file executable you're going to have to right click on it choose your properties and when your properties dialog box pops up go to your permissions go down to where it says allow executing files as program hit close now there's two ways you can run it you can right click on it and say run as administrator and it allow you to put in your password because when you scan your system it needs to have administrative rights to remove any infected files or you can right click and say run as program depending upon what type system you have or you can just double click the file once that you've made it executable and then the program will prompt you for your password and it will come up with a license agreement just like a normal Windows install program will because this is proprietary software so a lot of diehard Linux users will probably not use this because it's proprietary but you click right here for I confirm you can scroll down you don't have to read all of that I have left it up here you just hit accept and then it will prompt up with this little dialog box that looks like this when you hit the about that will pop up letting you know that it's what version what release of the database releasing and whether it's not it's up to date or not Then you can close that out in a moment I'll show you this here's what it's scanning in progress and this is when I scan my uh, little SD hard drive it scanned that many objects it took seven minutes and 37 seconds I went into the settings and I chose to scan every hard drive in my system which I have one little SSD and three internal hard drives when I used to use Windows I scan every file on every single one of them and it took almost 12 hours uh, that was just while it was in progress it took almost 12 hours and then when it finished it found 123 objects that's not to say all 123 were infected files that would cause problems but it did find things that were Trojans and when I see Trojans like that I do delete them since these were Windows related files I no longer use those anymore I went through and chose delete on most every single one of them there was a couple files that was school related stuff that was not necessarily an infected file they just had some scripts that run in the background when I clicked onto them so I kept a few objects that were school related so when you look at here it found 123 objects uh, it removed 116 or quarantined 116 of those now if you want to put it in your menu it will not install it in its menu uh, because it's a portable app 
but you can bring up your main menu editor. In this case, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 24.04.1. Uh, you use the Mozo menu editor, so you can click that to see how to install Mozo on your system if you ne need something like this on your system. But you can kind of put what I have here to access the KVR, uh, kvrt.run file, but make sure you put the dot in front of the forward slash when you put the path. Now don't copy my path here because this is the path that I have on my system. Enter the location where your file is at on your system. So basically put the path of your system and include, after you put the forward slash, include the dot forward slash kvrt and you can just can simply copy all that and you can get the little icon right here if you decide you want to put an icon with it within your menu. And then once you see it in your menu, you hit the close button so that when you go to accessories, you can click onto it. Now right here is how to remove it. So you can click that link if you decide you don't want it on your system. So let's go. Let me close out the Brave browser. That just shows you you can access it using the VPN. I go to accessories. I click on the Kaspersky virus removal tool. It will prompt me for my password. I put in my password. And then I press the enter key. And in a moment, it will come up asking you or prompting you to accept the agreements so just simply click I confirm for each of those hit accept and it's going to initialize it'll make sure that everything is up to date and if for some reason it's outdated it will prompt you up here at the top that it's outdated and it allows you to go and get a new version now you can go into change settings here but here's the system memory, the startup objects, and the boot sectors. That's probably the main thing that you want to make sure that your system's not infected. You can go down here, choose different volumes. You can click that, or you can click this, and scroll down and choose all the volumes on your system so that it will scan everything. But this is for the quick scan, and you can hit OK. That's the default. Before I hit Start Scan, here's the About. The About shows what version. It lets you know that the database is up to date so that you're not using an older database. Here's the quarantine files that you can click on to. Here's the reports that it's generated over the time while you use it. And here is the tools, which is the system analyzer. So you just simply hit start scan. And since it took about seven minutes, I'm not going to wait the entire time for it to scan this again. And it shouldn't find anything because yesterday when I ran the scan, uh, it didn't find anything on my SSD. But this is mainly for Windows users that are switching over to Linux that wants something to determine whether or not that they have infected files especially if you're like me that have hard drives in your system that uh, has Windows uh, related files on those that you might want to remove any files that it finds that it found infected so hopefully this video has helped you understand that you can get tools there's not a lot of virus removal tools for Linux the one that I mainly use and I do have this I put this in the, below the link as well if you go to antivirus uh, Bitdefender is no longer working for a uh, Linux user except for the business model. Same thing for Komodo. If you click on the Komodo, there's steps to an, on it. And you can actually Google Komodo, and it says it works in 2024. But if you scroll down, I think the last time they updated it was during Ubuntu 12, and that's now at Ubuntu 24.04. So this is really outdated. The only one that really works is the Clam AV, and Clam TK is the graphical user interface. So if you click this link right here, it says it's no longer maintained. If you click this link here, it lets you know that the maintainer is no longer maintaining this, but it still works and it was recently updated so hopefully this he said that he may come back if you read all of these right here it says it's not that good anyway it's lousy uh, I'm not a real programmer these are probably comments that people left him you know people on the internet sometimes leave cruel things and for people that are creating open source that are free software for people you know that takes effect over a period of time it makes you no longer want to do things when you get a lot of negative feedback but this still works and hopefully uh, someone in the future will take over and maintain that for them so that the, it's just a graphical user interface. It's not the actual virus scanner. The virus scanner itself is the Clamp AV. So if you click here, this shows you how to install Clamp AV and you can actually use uh, the command line to scan your system. But for people switching over from Windows, they don't like really bringing up the terminal. That's like bringing up the DOS prompt or your terminal in Windows along with your PowerShell a lot of people don't like bringing that up. They're like using a GUI, a graphical user interface, to scan something on your system. So hopefully this video is helpful to someone, and have a great day.